Hey everybody, welcome back to my second and final reaction video of tonight on this Monday. So, um, in my second and final reaction video, we are going to be reacting to another Silverstein song. This song is The Artist, and this song was actually suggested by a subscriber, um, Young Derek, um, I believe. So, so thank you for the, for the suggestion. Again, man, I really do appreciate it. But yeah, man, I'm excited for another Silverstein song. Uh... It's been a while also since I've done one, probably been at least a little bit over a month, probably pushing two months actually. Uh, I did Whiplash and that was off their newest album and I was actually really, really impressed. So Silverstein's been one of those bands that actually have maintained their sound in progress for over 10 years, which that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. Um, and they stayed relevant, they kept on touring, they haven't... Um, change band member lineups or anything which is awesome i find it really really cool in bands and really really bands that tend to be more successful when they do that and silverstein has so yeah um i'm excited to hear this song the artist uh never heard it before so i'm interested to see what it sounds like so without further ado let's get started excited man go right now Yeah. 
All right, so that was Silverstein with their song, The Artist. Uh, thank you, Leon Dare, again for the suggestion. I really do appreciate it. Uh, man, that was really, really freaking cool, man. Um, so let's just start it off with the video first. Uh, I thought the video was really, really cool. I liked how they filmed the, um, the video, the concert from their hometown. It's really, 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 really intimate. Uh, good setting. I liked how the fans sang along to, with the band and all that. I thought that was really, really cool. You see a lot of those live videos, and honestly, they send you chills down your arms. I thought they were, it was really, really neat, very, very cool experience to have. Uh, to start with the instrumentation. Um, I thought it was really, really cool, very, very old school. Um, pop punk, metalcore, punk, whatever you want to put that in the genre. It was groovy, it was fast, it was heavy, at, very, very heavy at some points. Uh, filth, um, as I should say, uh, all throughout, especially um, kind of uh, towards the rising of the song and the kind of the, towards the tail end of the song, those little moments of the um, heaviness, I thought those were really, really neat with the song. Uh, the intro, the drumming was nice, it was fast, the guitar was groovy, it was heavy at some points, uh, overall just filth. Uh, See the thought the bass work was good as well. Um, vo vocal wise, I thought the lead singer was very very cool. Um, very very clean, very smooth. Um, sounded very very good, honestly. Uh, thought it was very very neat how um, the type of vocal range that he has. Uh, yeah, man, I thought it was really really good song. Uh, like I said, um, from the songs I've heard from Silverstein, they've honestly really never put out a bad song. Uh, that's I think that's probably why they've been so relevant over these past over the past decades because they've just kept on putting out solid, solid material. The fans have stick with them, and it's honestly worked. So yeah, man. Um, I wish I would have saw them live. Um, they were here when was this? Uh, last month, um, kind of towards the uh, middle of last month, they came to my hometown. Um, honestly, wish I saw them. It was um, them. Um, let's see, it's not alive. Hitchresk, uh, and I believe um, Broadside, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that probably would have been a hell of a show to go to, honestly. But sadly, I didn't get to go. So hopefully, next time they roll into my hometown, hopefully I get to see them. I know they're playing work tour for um, select dates, which really sucks that they're not coming here. But oh well, I think they're playing Toronto. They, they are from Canada, so it makes sense that they're playing just East Coast states. Uh, the select few. So yeah, uh, hopefully I get to see them when they come back into town. So yeah, uh, that will be all for tonight. Um, my second video of a double header. If you only to react to more Silverstein, make sure to put that in the comments below. Other bands do the exact same. All my upcoming concerts I'm attending is on my About tab in my description box as well. I'm actually attending the one tomorrow. Um, architects, stick to your guns and counterparts. Dude, I cannot freaking wait. I've been waiting for the show since they've actually announced the tour announcement. and All the bands is acting up. I'm freaking stoked, man. Uh, at the moment, Counterparts uh, is actually one of my favorite bands. The difference between Hell and Home is honestly probably their best album that they put out. If you haven't listened to Counterparts, go do. You are missing a ton out. They're just so freaking, they're freaking awesome. Just go check them out, man. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for um, Architects and Stick to Your Guns also. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, let's see. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, make sure you can. Um, the um, name is in the description box, Logan's Gang in particular. So, make sure to join over. It'd be cool to have you. Uh, let's see, all my other social media accounts are in there as well. If you did like the song by Silver City, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video that I put out. And that will be all for tonight, and I will see you guys in my next video, which, oh, by the way, I'm, be, I'm not releasing any reaction videos. I'm going to be um, releasing my 100 subscriber special tomorrow. So get ready for that, and I will see you guys in my... Um, special, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.